Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Mylam from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tekla structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to create a steel truss life structure in the Tekla structure software and how to use the command of line cut effectively to make the joints visible as per actual. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we have this default you know, interface of Tekla structures. We want to uh, double click on the grids to create the grids properly as per our choice. So we'll go for 2 into, let's say 2 into 3000 for our grids here. So we'll have along the axis axis 2 into 3000 grids to this total 6 meter span. And then on the Y axis, we'll have a single span or we'll have, let's say two spans or four spans of uh, six meters like this we'll have now now in the z axis we want the ridge level and also the particular base level of the roof so now let's do this as 0 3000 and let's do this as 3500 or even 4000 let's do this as 4000 so 1000 difference we are taking and this difference or whatever we have created we'll just name this abc we have three uh, number in the x-axis so it is good in the y we have uh, uh, five numbers so one two three four and five and on the z we have three so this is okay and just we'll rename this five thousand to four thousand and then click on modify so we have our required grid here we'll just double click on it and uh, then we'll just right click to, uh, and then go to this create view along the grid lines so after creating the views we'll just close this and we'll open a particular view let's open the grid one view so when the grid one view is opened then we will start working on the model so what we'll do is we'll just go to window we'll tile vertically the put the windows here and then we'll go for a column so uh, we want a rectangular column let's just go here and uh, in the profile we'll have a different sizes of the profile here so first of all let's just check this the bottom part we'll just do this as zero we don't want anything in the bottom we'll just do this as zero and the profiles you can go here and you can or we can just go for any particular section we'll go for rectangular section let's check this this particular size and then click on apply okay and this we can apply it here so as you can see it is a very, this is a rectangular section and if you want to increase this uh, size also we can do that just click on escape two times and uh, select this and after selecting this you can change the properties here let's go for this so we have selected this particular profile and after that after selecting this you can also uh, you know, reduce the top offset also so here you have the top as 5000 so we'll do this top as 3000 and then click on modify so once we have our required a uh, desired uh, shape for the columns then we can place the columns as, as in our required positions so here we'll place one and along all the grids we want to place the columns so that we can place the particular truss later so now what we'll do we'll just take some beams here and we'll define the profile of the beams so for the beams also we want rectangular sections so we'll just go to this rectangular hollow sections and then take a particular section here and then click on ok apply so here so now for creating the next beam for our truss shape we'll make sure that this option is turned on that is snap to nearest points and we will change the position from your front to behind so that it comes at the particular depth of this joint so now we'll select this point 
and then we'll select this middle point and then again this point and then the middle point so now if you just closely zoom in and observe in the 3d view as well you can see that it is coming like this but in actual we want the joints to be properly done and properly visible so for that we can use the option of line cut so let's how to do this let's check it out so we'll just select this option of line cut and what it's asking select the object to be cut so we want this object to be cut and then pick the first point of the cutting line so the cutting line first point let's choose this and we'll just any uh, along the orthogonal we'll just click on any point and after that click the side to remove let's pick this left click on this so as you can see the joint has been done smoothly so similarly we'll do for this as well just select this and then select this line and then select on this again select this select this line and then select this so as you can see the joint is very properly done now for the next joint we'll just select this and select this line and then select this so now as you can see the joint has been properly done now we can copy this from two different parts and also apply some joints in this particular steel model as well so friends how did you find this video please let us know in the comment section for upcoming videos stay tuned to our channel bye bye